So we're going to go ahead and open up RP invoices. This is worksheet number three. And we're going to enable it. And we'll go to file and save as. And like the other ones, we do need to put a three dash in front of this. And we're going to start by modifying the width of several columns. So it does not matter. They're not telling you what technique to use. So you can use the drag method if that works for you. Or, you know, you can just click in the column, go to format and column width and type in the width. But for column C, they do want 17. And as long as you get it to 17, it does not matter what technique you use. For column D, they want 10. For column E, they would like 7. And for column F, they would like 12. So as you can see, I'm choosing to use the drag method because when it works, it is the fastest way. Like I said, when it works there. And let's see. They would like us to insert a new row one. So we're gonna select row, the current row one and click on insert. And they want us to change the height of this new row to 42. So I'm just going to drag it down. Hopefully I can get to 42. Nope, I'm going to click here, go to row height and key in 42. All right, so now I got it at 42. And they want me to select A1 through F1 which is kind of going to be the width of our worksheet. And they want me to merge and center this. And then they want me to increase the font size to 24. And they want me to change the color to green accent six, darker 50%. So that is in our last column, and it's actually the last color. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, for the fill, they would like a lovely shade of gray. So I'm going to click on the fill list arrow, and we're in this column of gray. And I believe we're in the third row. Let's see, they want 60%. Yep, so it's this one right here. Now they also want a border applied. They want a top and thick bottom border. So we're gonna go into the border menu, looking for top and thick bottom. And now uh, we've got that cell formatted properly, we're going to go ahead and key in the title, which is Real Photography. Now for row two, they want that one a little taller, so we're going to increase the height to 24. And we're going to highlight A2 through F2 and make very similar changes as we did to that first row. So we're going to hit Merge and Center. Uh, for this one, the size should be 18. And they want the same fill color applied. And that is the fill color that is displayed. So all we have to do is hit that button. And for borders, they want a just a regular bottom border. So let's select that and do just a normal bottom. And we're moving on to row three. So we're going to basically highlight our column headings here.
and they want the height of this row to be 18. And then with those column headings highlighted, we're going to bold face. And we're going to center them horizontally. And let's see, for a border, they just want us to hit the border button, which will reapply that bottom border. So as far as the numbers, uh, they want us to select E4 through E16. And these should be percentages. We're going to click on percent. And they want one decimal displayed, so we do need to increase decimal. Just click on that one time. And then cells A4 through B16, they want us to select those. And they want us to change the cell format to text. And if you look, right now it says general. So we're going to click the arrow and scroll down. And there is a text format. And you really aren't going to notice any change, but that does specify those cells as text. Um, a reason for doing that would be um, that we do have numbers under invoice. This just indicates that it's text. So nobody's going to try to do any arithmetic on it. Uh, for arithmetic purposes, text has a value of zero. Okay, so by specifying cells as text, you're kind of ensuring that nobody's going to try to average them or sum them or do any kind of weird calculation with those cells. Now with this range still selected, they do want us to center. And then we're going to save. 